Recycled 3D printed clothing. The world's biggest solar plant is a sham. Oh no! And water treatment plant that fuels itself with, well, poo. Oh. All on this week's oh. Green Tech oh. Weekly! Welcome back to another lime filled show. Lime? I thought maybe we used the word green too much. But the show is about is a green tech, meaning sustainable tech, not tech that is the color green. Oh, you got a point there. Okay, welcome to another sustainable tech-filled show. Now that's better. This is show number 96. 96? Wow, wow. we shouldn't have jumped all, all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, the Vita show has added up a lot to the channel. Speaking of Vita, you can watch all of them by clicking right there on Eco's head. No, there. There, click it. Click it. Click his nose. Thank you. <laughs> or yep. look in the show notes. Or, or the doobly-doo. <laughs> yep, all 31 of them. 31? Yeah, I got a little carried away. Lost track and started recording in the bay. Oh, hey, I got a great idea. Let's get on to this show. Oh, okay. In our first story, we have a 3D printer. Awesome! This one is actually more awesome than you think. Any 3D printer is awesome. Does it print PLA or ABS or something new like nylon? Yes! Way newer. It prints out fabric. What? What? <laughs> this was actually a design for the 2020, 2010 Electrolux Lab Design Competition. Wow. Smart designer Joshua Harris and his team designed a 3D printer that prints clothing. That's so that's great. What's even more cool is the fact that the material it uses is recycled old clothes. The idea is rapid urbanization. By using your old clothes to create the newer clothes, it'll save resources while letting our instant, instantly gratified society keep getting all that they want. No word if this will ever make it to market anytime soon, but with 3D printers getting really popular, I don't see why this won't start replacing some closets in the near future. It might even look better than a rag rug coat. Yeah. Maybe. Especially that one. No offense to the guy whose coat that is. Yeah, that's why we... Or the tutorial we'll link to in the doobly-doo. Yeah, the doobly-doo. <laughs> it... Because it's really cool. Good job! But 3D printed clothing is better. Because it'll look like anything you want. Like this. But that's not 3D printed. But it can look like this. Maybe. <laughs> Probably. In our second story, the world's largest solar power plant recently opened in Abu Dhabi. With 100 megawatt power output, it can power 20,000 homes. This means with this plant online, it is reducing the world's CO2 emissions by 170,000 tons per year. This all seems legit. Yes, it's completely legit. But at the beginning of the show, you said the whole thing was a sham. Oh, that's right, I did. That's because the company that produced this amazing feat of engineering is called the Shams Power Company, and they are calling this the Shams One. Oh, really? Yeah. The whole project took over $600 million to build and uses over 250,000 parabolic mirrors to collect the sun. Wow. That's a lot of mirrors. It's not a sham. It's definitely not a sham. It's probably not even pronounced sham. It's, it's probably not. But in my book, it's a sham. Wow! In this last story, SoCal gets a little more green while getting rid of the brown. Ooh. The new water treatment plant by Inland Empires has started to power 60% of its regional water recycling plant number one. What a boring name! With a 2.8 megawatt fuel cell generator. The fuel cell gets its hydrogen from the methane that is given off by the waste from the 850,000 residents after going through the anaerobic digester. Again, ooh. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> so you're telling me that the regional water recycling plant number one is powered with these people's number two. <laughs> I guess you're right. They already have plans for six more of these facilities by 2020. That's super Ew. awesome. Great. And ooh. Yeah. Thanks for watching another green and brown filled show of Green Tech Weekly. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, remember to rethink a green. Rethink a brown. Ew. Ew.
I think you're gay! Ew. Who's all in the without a neck? Oh. Okay. That's why we that? tried to do something without an echo. That's a really bad impersonation of Justin Black doing a really bad impersonation of Scott. <laughs> it was supposed to be not about, Justin. Uh, who's the? Who's uh, the? Not Justin Black, man. That's our guy I work with. No, Jack Black. Jack Black. It was supposed to be. Uh, uh, Willie Nelson. Uh, the Pearl Jam guy, Eddie Vedder. I thought it was a country guy. Thousand homes. This means that this plan. Three. Those aren't the words that are on the script. No. No. You think? Three. Two. In our second story, the world's largest solar power plant recently opened in Abu Dhabi. With a hundred thousand megawatt power output. No, can... you can't just increase it. By... <laughs> It's a thousand, a thousand times just because you want it to be bigger. I want it to be bigger. Actually, there's going to be a bigger one in California. And those would be 20,000 of the biggest homes. <laughs> 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 Ew.